this moment, people, innocent people, are being killed in a city they cannot escape from. The roads are full of rubble. There is no way to escape. And we are complicit with them. Please call your representative and ask them to encourage uh, the resolution to pass for a ceasefire. Ceasefire, we've got to stop killing innocent people. There's a difference between Hamas and the Palestinian people, and Israel does not seem to recognize that. And it's criminal. Been in occupation for 75 years, and it's grown almost, you know, every decade it's grown, and there's less and less land for Palestinians, and at this point, the land that they have is mostly within a barbed wire fence and they're stuck in that fence while bombs are being dropped and the U.S. government provides those bombs and so we have the ability to stop this and most Americans I don't think understand what war is like. I don't. And you know, Americans look at it like a football game. You gotta win, you gotta beat the Russians, you gotta beat the Hamas, you gotta beat the bad guys. It's like, they're disjoint and distracted. They're completely aloof from the pain and the suffering and the death. It's just not something that anybody here has ever had to reckon with, except 9-11. You know, Twin Towers got yeah, all of a sudden Americans felt like it's like a war zone. Okay, thank you.